Hey, how's it going everybody? So today we're going to play with OBS's new noise suppression library. Um, I just noticed it popped up in my Manjaro update, so we can play with it now. So this was a nice surprise when I went to check if there was any new updates. Yay, version 26. So at the moment I'm using the old noise suppression library. I also use a noise gate and the noise gate's handy because when things are quiet it doesn't record anything and that way it just saves you doing more things in post now i'll leave the mixer down on the bottom so that you can see what's happening when it's picking up my voice or the noise around me okay so it's time to do some noise tests so i'll make various sounds and stuff i've got a can of compressed air I got a vaporizer, I got a noisy keyboard, and I got a chair that I can move back and forward. So right now I'm still using the old noise suppression method, which I'm now gonna turn off and I'm gonna move my chair back and forward and speak at the same time. You could probably hear it scraping on the ground. And I'll do that with noise suppression and noise gate on. And I'm going to speak while I'm rocking my chair back and forward with the old noise suppression on. Now I'll turn noise gate off whenever I'm using the new noise suppression because I do not think the new noise suppression actually needs the noise gate. It uses some AI stuff so I'm going to rock my chair back and forward and while I'm speaking. There we go. Now I've got a vaporizer here. You can always hear these going when people are streaming. You can hear them vaping away. So let's see if we can get this to cancel out. Okay. Switch it to the old noise suppression and give it another go. Switch it to the new noise suppression. Looks like it cancelled out some things, like when I was breathing out. So I've got this can of compressed air. Don't worry, I'm not going to blow it into the microphone and blow out your eardrums. I'm just going to blow it in the opposite direction and talk at the same time okay so here we go i'm just going to do this so i'm speaking to you while i'm blowing this can of compressed air everywhere and now let's turn on this noise suppression this is using the old noise suppression so I'm speaking to you while I'm blowing a can of compressed air. Alright, this is with the RN Noise Library. Here we go. I'm speaking to you while I'm blowing a can of compressed air. I was still blowing it the whole time. Wow. It doesn't even move, that mixer, when I'm blowing this and not speaking. So it'll be interesting to hear what it sounds like later. So an obvious test to do I guess would be to type and speak at the same time. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Let's turn on this noise suppression. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Alright, let's try this one. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Few typos. I'm not a very fast typer at all, so. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, I just finished listening to that. I gotta say, it's very impressive what it can do. Getting the old library to work properly requires a lot of work. I mean, you gotta, you can only really tune, fine tune it to tune out specific types of noises. Like I've tuned mine to like tune out like birds jumping around on the roof and chirping away and making lots of noises and cars driving up and down the driveway. But in order to get that to work properly, I mean, I gotta, in order to get the old noise library working, I have to tinker with all these and fine tune it and then it ends up not sounding as good. But this new noise li library uses like AI so it can fine tune and mix on the fly when noises are, appear. You don't have to have like a audio engineer on standby when like a helicopter flies over or something crazy like that happens that you can't predict and plan for. This is why a lot of uh, Big streamers and content creators actually have a studio with a soundproof room because there's just noises they can't predict that will happen. But now with a lot of these AI type libraries coming out, you don't need studios anymore. There's a rubbish truck picking up rubbish outside. Oh no, there's a car driving up the driveway. Can you hear it? Now I'm happy that we've got an alternative to the NVIDIA one because I doubt NVIDIA will ever release that for Linux but I am kind of jealous that they've got on Windows the virtual backgrounds but I doubt NVIDIA will ever release that for Linux and if they did it would probably be proprietary so as Linus Torvalds says but NVIDIA NVIDIA <laughs> Uncensored version only on Odyssey Com. So I think I'll be using RE Noise from now on because it's very good and it saves me a lot of post-production work. So thank you all for watching. See you later.